good afternoon, everyone. We are on the rock. And not sinking sand. And not sinking sand. Yes. And that rock is? Jesus Christ, Jesus. God's son. Yes, Lord. Yes, yes, Lord. I'm Reverend Dr. Evelyn Underwood. And you, sir? I'm Dr. Bishop King Underwood. King and, James Underwood. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. And we are just so, so blessed to be here on this afternoon. A lot mm -hmm. of people didn't awaken this morning. And thank God we awakened and we reawakened. We found that we were in our right mind, mm -hmm. able to think, able to create. Yes. And at this time, Bishop, yes. uh, we would like to have a moment of silence for uh uh, was Cassius Clay, but he changed his name to Muhammad Ali, and he's gone on home to be with the Lord, and we just want to have mm -hmm. a moment of silence because he did so much for people throughout the world, and we saw that at his funeral. People all over the world, he did so much for people throughout the world, for hunger, for poverty, for so many, so many. He wasn't just for one religion, for one people, for all people. He did mm. a lot. So we're going to have a moment of silence. Mm. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Yes, the man that said he float like a butterfly and sting like a bee. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he had a way with words. He had a way with yeah. words. He had a way with words. Yeah. Uh, now he's silent. Praise yes. God. But, do, you know, people need to read about him. You know, the people who didn't like him and the people who did like him, the people who didn't read and didn't really know. But, but it's a lot of material. But that's the like way that. of life. Uh, uh, I don't care who you are. Somebody gonna like it. Some not gonna like you. But I went down to Louisville, and mm -hmm. I saw the museum. You know, yeah. when at uh, my uh, son-in-law's uh, family reunion with mm -hmm. my daughter and all, and I, you know, and uh, just the whole history. You know, and uh, the mm -hmm. the lives he touched all over the world. Yes. So, uh, but we're going to get on with it. It wasn't just nationwide, it was worldwide. 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 Mm -hmm. And a lot mm -hmm. of people probably, you might be able to go on YouTube and see the funeral. Yes. Uh, and what uh, happened there. A lot of people I know that he and Malcolm X uh, uh, was friends, and, and Malcolm X was trying to get him to be a uh, uh, Muslim. Yeah, and you know, Malcolm X went over to, uh, I can't think of that country, Me Mecca. Mecca. Mecca, and he came back loving everybody. Yes. You know, and we got to love. Yeah. We got to love everybody. Then we better not die. If because you die, they'll keep you out of the kingdom. That's right. We got to love everyone. That's no what, sin shall enter the kingdom. And if you hate, that's a sin. So in essence, that'll keep you out of the kingdom. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yeah. And he gave up a lot of money because of his beliefs. We have to have a integrity. We have yeah. to be, have integrity and in what we believe. We have to, to stand on our belief. Money can't be everything for us. Yes, to him, his integrity was more than money, gold, or silver. His, his integrity was, was, was who he was. Yes, yes. And he yes. wants people to know who he was, not, not that he was out reaching for money, uh, reaching out for filthy lucre, but he was, uh, he was a man of integrity. And they say he was a little boy, you know, and then at 12 years old, you know, he wanted to be somebody he wanted to. But anyway, they need to read the history, yeah. how you started. You can be anything well, you want to be. What about the program they're going to have Monday? Oh, yes. Monday <laughs> uh, at the Art Theater, uh, they uh, were announcing it on WEFT at the Art, the, but it, Bishop, it, we won't be on, so it would be too late. But the young man, Gus, uh, he's on the labor hour at... Uh, on WFT, his first name is Gus, but he did his master's thesis on Muhammad Ali. And if you ever want to know more information, you can ask him. Uh, he can give you more information. But at the art theater, um, when I was king, or when I was king, or something like that, that's the video or the movie. And you might be able to see that movie, but it's going to be on the Monday the 13th. See, mm -hmm. and our program will not air until next week. Oh, okay. See, it's going to be on this Monday the 13th at the Art Theater at 7.30 p.m. What is going to be again, I don't know, uh, but they can check with the Art Theater. And it was, uh, it was going to give more of the history of him. And, and probably a lot more information, too, will be on uh, uh, YouTube. Yeah. People can go and see anything you want, generally, on YouTube these days. 
and they can get the full history. You don't have to guess. You know, you can see it with your own eyes. A lot of things you can see. And in Louisville, Kentucky, they have a, they have a, a, a museum down there, and you can see, you know, the whole history of him. Uh, mm -hmm. So we're gonna go on with the program uh, mm -hmm. now. Uh, uh, in the name of Jesus, we're gonna first do our scripture, Bishop. And uh, mm -hmm. today, uh, 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 we've been uh, healing. Uh, uh, mm -hmm. It's just been on our mind because there's so many people uh, been ill, so sick, and when they get that big C, they call it the big C cancer. They uh, been uh, uh, they feel it's a death sentence, and, and and we know that God is a healer, and uh, we just want to give scripture, and they yes. can read it for themselves, mm -hmm. and they can see in their by their faith. It's what you believe, but it's what you receive. That's right. And we can give the scripture, and they can read the scriptures for themselves. And we want to give hope. Uh, give hope. To hope to the hopeless. Hopeless. And as you pray, as we uh, 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 pray, mm -hmm. we want to pray for the young, the, uh, young folks who are marching today. Uh, uh, is uh, the Woe Project, uh, led by uh, Cecily Thomas. And they were going to march in Garden Hills and be at Douglas Center. And, was, and love, is the key was love, to show people that they are loved. And I think that's so important, to show love to the people, you know. Uh, and they were going to, uh, uh, and that's important, Bishop, yes. to show love to people and stop the gun violence. Mm. And, and I guess they're... Uh, social workers, teachers, business people, they're all going out and marching, yeah. you know, just to show that they care. Yeah. And that means a lot. You have a business schedule, you have your families, but when you uh, uh, sacrifice and give of yourselves, mm -hmm. God blesses you. Yes, and he it does. was just so good to see that, you know, what they were doing uh, and what they are doing currently. They're doing it now while we're here. They started at 9 o'clock this morning. And, and giving up their time and, and to show love and caring. And that's what it's all about, Bishop. Yes. That's, what it, uh, that, that's what it's all about. So at this time, um, we're going to uh, uh, go to the scripture. And we go to the scripture, and uh, uh, as we always do, mm -hmm. St. Matthew's the 16th chapter, beginning at uh, verse 13. And... Uh, uh, through verse 18. When Jesus came into the coast of Caesarea Philippi, he asked his disciples, saying, Whom do men say that I, the Son of Man, am? And they said, Some say thou art John the Baptist, some Elias, and others, Jeremiah, are one of the prophets. He says unto them, But whom say ye that I am? Whom say ye that I am? What do you say? And Simon Peter answered and said, Thou art the Christ, the Son of the living God. And Jesus answered and said unto him, Blessed art thou, Simon Barjona, for flesh and blood hath not revealed it unto thee, but my Father which is in heaven. And I say also unto thee, that thou art Peter, and upon this rock, Bishop, upon this rock, I will build my church. I will build my church. And the gates of hell, and the gates of hell, shall, shall not, not prevail, prevail against, against it. The church of Jesus Christ. And the gates of hell. He's gonna try to come against it. Just but it like they said, it, it to, won't stand. It won't stand. Just like today when they were marching for love, some people tried to come against them, mm. but they will not prevail. When you're trying to do something for God and for love, the sake of love, the devil gonna come against you. But he will not prevail because love is gonna stand because what God is love. Yes, he is. Yes, yes, he is. And love will stand. When the world's on fire, love will stand because God is love. And God will last from eternity to eternity. eternity. There's no end to God. Hallelujah. We're going to have our psalmist now, Bishop King James on the wood, hallelujah, to uh, sing what God puts upon your heart. Let the Holy Ghost lead. Like mm. I said, 
uh, let uh, the blood of Jesus protect and the Holy Spirit lead. Hallelujah. Amen. Psalmist Underwood. In the garden. I come to the garden alone While the dew is still on the roses And the voice I hear falling on my ear The Son of God is glory And he walks with me, and he talks with me, and he tells me I am his own. And the joy we share as we tarry there, none other had ever known. He speaks in the sound of his voice. It's so sweet the birds hush their singing and the melody that he gave to me. Within my heart it is ringing And he walks with me And he talks with me And he tells me I am his own And the joy we as we tarry there, none other had ever known. I will stay in the garden with him, though the night around me be falling, but he bid me go through the voice of woe, his voice to me it is calling, and he walks with me, and he talks with me on he tell me I am his own and the joy that we share as we tarry there none other has ever the garden in the garden bishop first of all we're going to go to romans 10 9 and 10 this healing thing yes see by his stripes we are here by his stripes we were here yes so if we are here it's already done yes yes now it can belong to us but first we got to come under his wings yes and How can we do that, Romans 10, 9, and 10? What do you got to say? Tell us. In, in essence, uh, the healing is already there. We have to receive the healing for ourselves. Yes. Because he has already set up a plan uh, for our healing when they whipped him, and they whipped him, and by his stripes we are uh, healed. He was wounded for our transgression. Mm -hmm. He was bruised for our iniquities. Mm -hmm. And by his stripes we are healed. Yeah. That, that, that's, that's, that's through our faith. Yes, Lord. Yes. If we believe, we can receive. See. Amen. And I wanted to go uh, uh, let you know that all these benefits 
mm. can belong to you because he already died. He already came through 42 generations, suffered blood, and died for you, 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 and especially me. Yeah. Why especially me? Because I love him, I love him, I love him. I already, a wretch undone, came under. Ah! Yes. And had sense enough. Yes. To do what I'm getting ready to read to you now. I'm had sense enough mm -hmm. to do that. Because when you accept him as your personal savior, all those things that he died and suffered become ours, and he has those, all those benefits, that they become our benefits. That's right. Because That's right. we are his, and he takes care of his own. And he said he will never forsake us nor leave us, but what? He died to save us when we were unworthy of being saved. And I'm not arrogant about it, but I'm in covenant relationship with him. Yes. Oh, thank you, Jesus. And he's going to do what he said he's going to do. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. He's not Hallelujah. a God that he should lie. He's not a God that he should lie. No. Praise God. So Romans 10, 9, and 10. And I'm a, you can talk, bitch. I'm going to read. And I'm coming from the King James Version, Romans 10. That if thou shalt confess with thy mouth mm -hmm. the Lord Jesus, yes. and shall believe in thine heart, which is faith, that God has raised him from the dead, yes. thou shalt, S-H-A-L-T, be shalt saved. be saved. Yes. 10. For with the heart... Man, Man believeth believe unto, unto righteousness, uh -huh. and, with the mouth, and with the mouth, confession confession is made unto salvation. Men can't see what's in your heart, but when you confess it, they know what's in your heart because you confess it with your mouth, and, and they know what's in your heart. But God already knows what's in your heart, but he wants you to confess it to the world that he, he, he has delivered you, has saved you from your sin, and you are now a member of the heirs of what? Salvation. Salvation. Purchased by God. Yes. It's not cheap. No. He purchased it with his life. It's free for you and me. But he gave his life. You know why it's free for you and me? Because there were some is poor. And they can afford to buy the salvation. So he made it possible for anybody to receive salvation. Only have faith in him, and that's all it required, to have faith and believe in him and to keep his laws, statutes, and commandments, and you shall be saved. Whosoever will, let him come. Yes, it's a free will thing. So not, not just the rich can be saved. Anyone who desires to be saved can be saved. The poor as well as the rich. The rich as well as the poor. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah. And then once you come to him, then Psalms 103, beginning at verse 1, Bless the Lord, O my soul, mm -hmm. and all that is within me, bless his holy name. Mm -hmm. Two, bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his, his benefits. benefits. Three, who forgiveth all thy iniquities, mm -hmm. who healeth all, all thy, thy diseases, diseases. Yes, yes. Who redeemeth for, who redeemeth thy life from destruction, mm -hmm. who crowneth thee with love and kindness and tender mercies. Mm -hmm. Five, who satisfies thy mouth with good things, mm -hmm. so that thy youth is renewed like the eagles. Yes, yes. So he heals all thy diseases. So there's nothing too hard for God. Nothing too hard for God. It's just that we believe that, that that's, this is terminal and that's what you get because you believe it. If you believe in your heart that you're healed, you, you shall be healed because uh, you are walking with God. You are God's child and, and, and you receive your salvation by faith and you receive your healing by faith believing that you are and you are because of your faith. That's what he told the woman that had the issue of blood for 12 years. Yes, Lord. She, she, she uh, purposed in her heart that, 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 that she had heard about Jesus. Talk now. Faith cometh by hearing 
and hearing by the word of God, mm -hmm. she had heard about Jesus, and, and she had, had been to all the doctors, and, 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 and she had spent all her money. She didn't have no money to, to spare to spend on doctor bills because she didn't have any money. Uh -huh. But she heard of Jesus, the, 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 the doctor, that, that, that didn't charge her for her healing, mm -hmm. and, and she believed that if I could just touch the hem of his garment, I will be made whole. And, 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 and she, she, she started coming, and she heard that Jesus was in the place. And she saw the multitude, and they were thronging each other. They were so thick, thronging each other. And, 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 and she start, tried to get to Jesus, and, and somebody tried to discourage her, say, Look, woman, can't you see you can't get to Jesus? All these people is, is thronging each other, and you tell me you want to get to Jesus? Uh -huh. She didn't say nothing, but kept pushing. She kept pushing. Sometimes you have to go through the press to get to where you need to go. Yes, Lord. Because sometimes obstacles are in the way and you have to press your way past the obstacle. Uh -huh. And all these people that were standing strong in each other was her obstacle. And she heard Jesus and she knew that he was in the place. And she said in her heart, I can just touch. Touch. I don't have to talk to him. I don't have to look on him. If I can just touch, touch. the him of his garment, I will be made whole. And she kept pressing. And, and you know something about the press, when you press, you get tired. And I can imagine in my mind that when she pressed and she got tired and fell from the press, that, that she was at Jesus' feet and she reached up and touched the hem of his garment. And immediately, she was healed. Her blood was stanched. And she was healed immediately. And Jesus turned and said, who touched me? Mm. All those folks arrived, but he... And, and everybody else was touching it and bumping up against him. But this woman did something different than all the rest of them. They wasn't just bumping him. But she had purpose in her heart and believed that she could touch the hem of his gum. And the minute she touched the hem of his gum, her faith went into action. And she was healed because she believed I, I, if I touch. And Jesus felt virtue coming out of him to heal her. And he said, who touched me? Because he knew that was a healing touch because virtue had left him. All the rest of the people bumping against him didn't have a desire to be healed, but they was, uh, 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 just wanted to hear his word. But this woman needed something special, and she wanted to get her healing from Jesus. And she was pressing, and when she got to him, she reached up and touched the hem of his garment. You can't be standing and touch somebody, the hem of somebody's garment it's an indication when you reach up and touch the hem, that means you have to be down in order to reach up. Mm -hmm. Amen. So the woman, woman said, I, I, I got this far. And, and now I fail, but I see him, but I, he's in my reach. I can reach up and catch his gun. He said, thy faith has made thee whole. Go in peace. What is faith? The substance of things hoped for. Uh-huh. And the evidence mm -hmm. of things not seen. So it's not it's not in anything tangible. They said faith will hold you until that thing comes. Until that hope he, will hold you until the thing that you're believing is manifested. Okay. Faith is believing. Hope is what keeping you until that thing is manifested. It's give you that hope, but then it's got to be something tangible. It's what's in your heart. Okay, tell us, tell us. You can't see it, but you can feel it in your heart. Have you ever had an unction? You knew that something was, was, had already happened even though you weren't there. But when, when the news come, you, you got the news, what was in your heart was happening as you felt it in your heart. And this woman believed in her heart, and she received because she believed. And, and when we believe, we will receive. Amen. So we, that evidence... It's on fire. We got Go time. Ahead. That evidence then was the healing that came forth. That's what brought her healing, her faith. She believed she was healed, and that's what she was. In her mind, before she got to Jesus, if I could just touch the hem of his garment, she had purpose in her heart, and she was talking. If I can just touch the hem of his garment, I will be made whole. Oh. If I can just touch. And she did touch, and when she touched, what she believed, she received. 
So the people out there who are going through, mm -hmm. who uh, just some have lost hope. You know, they feel whatever the doctors say, you know, that's it. You know, they. Yes, they, but there's hope in Jesus. Jesus, there's nothing too hard for him. But we as human beings, we are limited in what we do. But there's no limit on God. He can do whatever he wants to do because he has the power and authority. There's nothing too hard for God. You remember what he told Sarah and Abraham? Because they was old and stricken in age, that we can't have no children. And up come Isaac. Yeah. What's too hard for God? So what they're going to have to do, the people are going to have to do who's going through all this illness and losing hope, they're going to have to get in the Word of God. Yes. And have faith enough to believe the Word. The Word. They're going to have to fill themselves up with the Word. Yes. Because, you know, uh, uh, Dodie Osteen. Yes. All these years later, she, she filled herself with the Word of God. Yes, she and did. And she's still standing. We were down there when we were in Texas. Yes. And we heard her again talking about what she did. Kept reading the Word of God and believing by faith. And that faith has kept her 30 some years. She's still healed. Yes. Her husband, they thought he would still be here, but he's gone on to glory and she is still, still here. here. And they <laughs> pronounced her uh, that she wasn't going to live. She was in the last stages of cancer. Yes, but God can reverse anything because God made everything. And what is it that God isn't in control of? It's through him that we move, live, and have Never our being. being. And if we trust him and, and ask of him because we're keeping his law, he said he will give it to us. And we have the benefits. That's what he said. Mm -hmm. We are healed and we got to believe it, but we got to walk like it. We got to talk like it. We got to get in the word. And, and just like she said, she was so weak. But she got when she came home, she got up that next morning. And, and I was listening to him on TV just the other night. And, and her daughter said, I got up and smell uh, 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 foods. I thought daddy was in there. My mom was in there weak when she was in there cooking. Hallelujah. Believe in what God said. Hallelujah. So what faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things that's not, not seen. seen. So we have to have faith in God's word. Yes. In essence, uh, let me see if I can digress so you can understand the substance of things hoped for and evidence of things not seen. Anybody in here ever, ever cooked a pot of greens and, you, and somebody walked in the house and they smell, hmm, smell like greens in here. And they look in the pot, and it's pot liquor. It tastes just like the greens, but no greens are there. That, 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 that pot liquor is a substance from the green, but it'll let you know the greens were there. Thank Hallelujah. you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank the you, The substance. Jesus. So we just got to believe, and we shall receive. And those benefits. Yes. Uh, and the uh, uh, scripture, Exodus 15, 26, um, uh, and say, uh, and say, if thou wilt diligently hearken to the voice of the Lord thy God, and will do that which is right in his sight, and will give ear to his commandment, and keep all his statutes, I will put none of these diseases upon thee, which I have brought upon the Egyptian, for I am the Lord that healeth thee. Yeah. And all of these scriptures... There's a lot of scriptures that we've gone through mm -hmm. and just looked at, talking about here all these healing scriptures, mm -hmm. and we got to stand on them yeah. in Jesus' name. So we got to believe. What a healing mm -hmm. Jesus I, I found in you, Lord. See you next you week. You are a healing Jesus. Yes, yes you, you are. are. See you next week. You are a healing heal Jesus. I, I thought in you, Lord. Lord. You, you are a healing Jesus. Jesus. Yes, yes, you are. See you next week. See you Love next you. week. God be with you till we meet again. Yes, Lord. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs>